Now, the Russian invasion into Ukraine has triggered a massive refugee crisis. The number of people who are fleeing from their homes from Ukraine is now set to cross the 1.5 million mark as Russia continues to pound the nation. In the interim, Kiev has pressed the West for more sanctions and for more weapons and military aid. Now, remember, the Russian forces are beginning to close on to Kiev, but this is what the refugees are living with. This, in many ways, is the harsh reality of the war. People torn apart from their homes and having to flee into another nation for safety. They are beginning to pour into places such as Poland, Romania, Slovakia, Moldova, amongst others. But the Ukrainian refugees are also taking a ride to various cities in Poland near the Ukrainian border. Authorities and volunteers greeted the migrants at the check post and facilitated the migrants into various transit hubs. From where they could continue with their journey forward. The refugees in the Ukrainian capital of Kiev shared some pretty harrowing details of the Russian aggression in the city. The businesses have been completely destroyed. Houses have been decimated to rubble. Several residents reflect on the massive devastation that has been brought on them because of this war through incessant shelling by the Russian forces. The situation was devastating. There was uh, bombing all around every time, all time of the day. There was, a, there was an airport which was very close, which was called Gustamal Airport, which where the fight was happening because that's the airport Russians wanted to take in order to fly in their uh, uh, you know, supplies. Uh, and it was devastating. And the place I, I was living in, uh, we came to know it was also bombarded and the buildings were crashed. So, and uh, the house which I was living in has also been destroyed. Now, hundreds of people, in fact, flocked to the railway station in the eastern city of Dnipro in an attempt to catch a train and flee from the fighting. The hundreds of senior citizens, women and children, continued to stand in queues to catch carriages. The people braved the steady snowfall as they tried to attempt to escape from the war. In eastern Ukraine has been, remember, the worst affected and it has been the eye of the Russian offensive so far. The western part of the nation has, has not witnessed the same scale of fighting. Meanwhile, several Ukrainians have also crossed over into the neighboring nation of Moldova, while fighting, of course, continues in the region of Odessa. The members of a Turkish NGO helped the migrants with supplies, along with the Moldovian volunteers who were already present at the border. They gave out food and hot drinks for the people as they crossed over. <laughs> Meanwhile, the eastern end of Ukraine in Donetsk, remember, people, especially the civilians who have been caught in the middle of this conflict, have been fleeing for safety. <laughs> now on the other side of Ukraine, in the western part of the nation, in the city of Lviv, people are beginning to flee from this area as well. Remember, Lviv so far has not witnessed a lot of fighting. It's towards the western frontier of Ukraine and therefore it has not been much affected so far in this war. But people on the ground in Lviv also ex expect an escalation, especially after the Russian forces captured the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The locals have urged for the leaders of both nations to give up war while bemoaning about their bleak future. Помогите, если вы там чем-то можете. Мы все хотим жить. У нас дети, мужья. 
Мамы, папы, мы тоже насилие, люди, мы тоже люди, которые, нам... в принципе, не Путину, ни Зеленскому ничего не сделали. Мы просто жили, занимались своими делами, воспитывали детей. Я хочу, чтобы мои дети росли в мирной стране, чтобы он, ребенок мог спокойно пойти в садик, пойти в магазин сходить спокойно. А теперь куда мне? Вот я в чем я есть, у меня с собой еще сумка вещей, все, больше у меня ничего а нет. Мне нам самим и вывести наших детей. Помогите нам, пожалуйста, в чем наши детки виноваты, в чем мы виноваты. According to the latest figures that have, been, that have been put forth by the United Nations, apparently about 351 people, especially civilians, have been killed, while 707 others have been injured ever since the war began on the 24th of February. Now, the United Nations has also forecast that the refugee crisis is likely to spiral further and estimated six, perhaps seven million Ukrainians may have to flee from their nation to the safety of the neighboring nations if the war continues in the future. So, so. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.